In today's episode, we're going to take a texture, combine it with an image like this, and come up with something like this. Alright guys, so let's get started. What we're going to do here is we're going to use a texture like this as a layer mask. So first thing we want to do here is desaturate this image. And you do that with Shift Command U, or you can do uh, Image Adjustments, and then Desaturate. Next, thing I'm going to do is select all. So that's Command A, and we're going to copy Command C. And what we're going to do is take this into our graphic or logo. In this case, we're using this logo. It's one of my old logos I used to use. Um, I'm going to create an, a layer mask and then we're going to step into the layer mask or click into it and the way you do that is alt option click on that layer mask and we are inside of it now so this is the actual layer mask anything that we paint in black will be hidden back on the graphic anything that's white will be shown what we're going to do now is paste that texture in here so we're going to do a command B and now we that's too much black because the image is huge so what we're going to do is transform it and that's command T and I'm just kind of adjusting size here using shift, dragging this control point here until I find kind of the scale I want it at. I'm going to exaggerate the look here just for this purpose. Find go oh, there we go. That's a pretty good texture there. And I'm going to do enter, return, and we're going to deselect everything. Command D. And then we're going to click on our logo or graphic. And that's what we get. Now, if you think this is too much for you, what you can do is double click on the layer mask here and you can uh, lower the density. And as you go lower, the layer mask has less of an effect. For this purpose, we're just going to take it to 100 and show you how you can use this in, in, as a watermark or on any of your images. So we'll do a B to move this image and have our image already loaded up. And we'll invert that and that's pretty much it you can see how everywhere the layer mask is is actually transparency you can see the concrete behind that it gives you a pretty good look I think um, you play with the opacity you get it right where you want it and we're all done so that was pretty quick and easy hope you guys had fun and learned something uh, and see you guys next time it's David Matos